Good job, Sean. You were speaking like a fucking moron with the goddamn mic volume turned down. You didn't notice the goddamn thing wasn't fucking working. So anyways, why is that unmuted? Anyways, let me start over since I just looked like a fucking moron who didn't realize his mic was muted, even though I thought it was, or well, technically not muted. It was just turned all the way down, so it was sort of muted, but not really muted. Um, anyways, let me start over. <laughs> So that was a stupid fuck up. Um, so, okay, I got up and it was 85 degrees in here. So I have to have the air conditioner on because I got up two hours ago. And in that two hours since I turned on the air conditioner and woke up and all that, uh, I went down to 81. It's possible it's 80 now, but it's still a little too warm. I also have the ceiling fan on. So the air conditioner and ceiling fan are on, but I need to have that air conditioner on because it's probably going to be, let me see, another 90 plus day out today, maybe. And if it's uh, colder in here, uh, it's only supposed to be 85 today. Still, the colder it is in here before it, the hottest point, the better it'll last with a lower temperature. It'll take longer to heat up. So I need to make sure it's cooled down because that way I can also more easily sleep through the heat because I'm obviously awake kind of from midnight to noon area right now. So there might be a little bit of background noise in the stream today, uh, but it shouldn't really be much of an issue. Uh, at least it hasn't been in the past, and I'm actually a little bit farther away from air conditioner right now than I was with the L desk in the back here. So, um, I also did look at moving my camera back and zip tying it to that there, which is the visa mount I'm using. And what is this caught on? That cable shouldn't be like that. I want that cable to be nice and loose. Uh, but it didn't really help much because when I moved it back and tested, it's like, oh, well, that's a decent angle right there. But then you're seeing the monitor, you move it up and then it's like, oh, well, now this other monitor I got is in the way. Um, so the camera has just got to sit on the monitor. It's currently on, which means it's just a little too close. Anyways, uh, the next thing I also moved my mic stand so it's right here next to me so if I need to I can just move back a bit to use a controller and it was over there right behind that speaker and yes there my computer is the pretty full colors first time seeing it on a stream because it's right fucking next to me and I can do that Hooray. Anyways. <laughs> so, and yeah, that's my air conditioner over... What way is my hand moving? Right there. It only goes down to 64, which kind of sucks. So anyways, let me set this up and begin the damn game. It should only take maybe two more streams to finish this game. Uh, then I'll be moving on to Halo 2, which might take maybe the same number of streams. I can't remember how long that is. I'll have to look up the gameplay length of it. I've only played through Halo 2 like maybe one time and that was back when it released on console. So middle. Huh. I kind of want to, how much is there? Yeah, I kind of want to increase the height of my webcam, my face cam here. Uh, but at the same time, I don't think I'm going to because that would make it a little bit too big and it wouldn't really do much. It would just show a little bit more beneath this button here. Like it would uh, maybe show like there, which wouldn't be much. Whatever. Just kind of an annoyance with this new desk just because it's a little bit too goddamn small for this front portion. So minimize that and hello. More Borderlands 3 talk because I've still been playing it a bit. So, Borderlands 3. It seems the best character to play as is Moe's because of the mech. 
However, she's the worst character to play as in Mayhem mode because then her fucking mech is completely fucking useless. Which effectively means she has no special skill ability in that and she just can't survive worth shit. Uh, campaign... Combat the Evolved. Resume. And... Uh, I also got to... Uh, level 60 with Flak. So, for that, I uh, found... Uh, I forgot how much different this area looks versus the original. God damn, that's fucking crazy. I don't know if it actually screenshot at that time. And just to make sure, because it kind of swapped a little fast there. And I have excessive amount of screenshots in that little, little spot. Uh, anyways... What was that? Was that a... Uh, I can't really force that. It looked like there was a black line from some shadow bug or something that went there. Whatever. Um, yeah, so... For Flack... Uh, his pet actually does decent damage in Mayhem mode, which is surprising. The problem is that your character can't do damage worth shit in Mayhem mode. So I got to it, and I was actually starting to do a bit. And also, unlike, um, with, uh, Moe's, although I only tried it on Mayhem 1 at the lowest, I didn't try it with Mayhem off, I, I got to Wotan with Flak with Mayhem mode disabled, because I didn't want to fucking bother with it with it enabled, and with it disabled, I got Moe's down to, or not Moe's, I got, um, Wotan down to on his health so much that I destroyed one of the three final components of his form. Then I died. And then, uh... Then I gave up because that was the second time I got him to those those three final parts and it was around that time where it's just like, yeah, this is a raid that's designed for multiplayer and it's not one that you're supposed to be able to solo. Which sucks. So maybe later, if I ever find any good legendary weapons in the game, or if a Gibd ever releases, then I can just give myself the legendary weapons to test and see how broken shit truly is, because all the legendary stuff I've found so far have just been absolute fucking garbage. But, I don't know, maybe if I ever get Craig to play multiplayer or something on it. Uh, maybe Fear as well. I haven't up to him since that one left the dead two stream. Uh, he's more kind of Craig's. He's still on my friends list on Steam. I just don't really speak to him. He doesn't really, ah, I don't think I just got stuck. No, he missed. That's okay, cool. Just, um, yeah, I don't know. So maybe see about running through it with one of them or both of them. See if it actually helps make it a little easier. But I have no idea if it will. Uh, and then I also tried at no, not Axton. Axton is Borderlands 2. Axton isn't actually mentioned anywhere in at least I don't think he is in Borderlands 3. Nor is uh, Zed, other than the shops. Uh, at least not that I've seen or found or anything, which is a little bit stupid. Like, I don't know why Zed's not in it anywhere at all, especially with the, the final DLC on Borderlands 2 being like, Oh yeah, Zed and Tannis are now together and shit. It's like, wait, what? Okay. But then it's like, oh, they're just fucking nowhere. Whoa! Retarded. Whatever. <sighs> I'm gonna try and not bitch about the problems of uh, Borderlands 3 this time. Um, but, for, um, I guess there's still gonna be technically some bitches. For the other character, what's his fucking name? Discount Roland guy. Zane, that's it. Discount Roland. Technically, Roland's Discount Zane, but whatever. I'm calling him Discount Roland just because it's more of an insult because I'm out. Yeah, because of how much he fucking sucks. Uh, I created a character for him, and... <laughs> I quickly stopped, like, before I even left Pandora. 
on the ship. I just said, fuck this. I, I'm not, I'm not going to even bother with this guy. Because his skills are garbage. Like, you can't use grenades with him. Because his action skill requires the grenade function. And you would think, oh, well, when that, that thing's recharging, you can throw grenades. But no, you can't even do that. Wow, what the fuck? You can't use grenades at all with him. Um, which sucks because grenades have been really damn helpful in Borderlands 3 when you actually manage to find a decent grenade. Or grenade mod, I mean. And, um, okay, that one's locked. It, it, um, oh wow, that's fucked up. It really sucks because his action skills have a long cooldown. And a very short... Well, I guess long isn't... It's not really long, but it, it feels long because of how short they're actually active and how useless they are. The skills also don't really... Or his skill trees don't really help in terms of... Whoops. Improving the cooldown rate or helping keep things up worth a damn. So it's like, oh, you activate this thing, it's up for like maybe 10, 20 seconds... Barely does any damage. It's it's basically discount death trap. Like, really discount death trap. And it sucks ass, right? And it, it just, um... It's useless, pretty much. So, y y you go and you use that, and it's like, oh. This would be helpful, sort of, if it was out for a longer span of time. Or if it was always out, like Flag's Pet. It could even just be kind of like a, a weaker version of Flax Pet that instead of doing damage, instead just helps take away aggro from enemies or uh, restore shields and health and does shit like that. That would have helped balance it out because that way it would be... What the fuck? Oh, my older brother said something finally. I responded to him on Facebook about something. Uh, anyways... Um, yeah, it, it would have been more balanced if it was all, okay, the, so, uh, this, this here, uh, little drone is just out all the time, just like Flax Pet. That way it frees up action skill button to be used for the other thing. Don't shoot me, you fuck! Uh, yeah, just, uh, out all the time, action skill freed up, grenades still in use, that would have been more balanced, I would have given it more of a chance. Oh, well, that's interesting. Oh, never mind. Wait a minute, was the glass? Oh, it already was broken, okay. Whatever. Uh, so... Yeah, if, uh, if it was like that, then it's like, okay, then the other thing here. I don't remember what his other action skill thing is. Uh, it also sucks. I don't remember what it was, though. Um. Yeah, I just, I don't remember for some reason. I don't know it was something that wasn't very helpful. Oh, you can also, you can, you can, like, you can add a little clone of yourself, I guess. It, it's an option instead of the drone. Uh, you can add a clone of yourself and teleport around. That and the drone together, if the drone was changed to the idea I just explained, then he would have actually probably been a decent character to use. Because then it's like, okay, you have shields and stuff getting restored. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Then you can also use this clone to move around and stuff, just like zero, sort of, no invisibility, but help take the aggro off of yourself even more with enemy, or from enemies, and make them attack some useless thing. That, that together would have been kind of nice, but it's the drone or the clone. Uh, then there was one other thing, I don't remember, and then of course all of those together, uh, there, there's one other little extra thing I can't fucking remember. There's a, a third option for the skill trees. 
There's the drone. The clone. Oh, and some useless ass shield. The shield would have been useful if it was a longer use. Because uh, you can pick it up, and it would also be better if you could make it default to being around you instead of just throwing on the ground like the useless ass Roland turret. Uh, because that, that shield does actually block all projectiles and attacks and stuff, which is nice. It doesn't have some limited health bar thing, and it doesn't just reduce damage, like it actually prevents it from hitting which would be very helpful in certain situations. But the problem with that is that uh, it only lasts a few seconds. So it's really useless. And I think that one also has the longest cooldown. I can't remember though. And even if the cooldown is only like, oh, it's 30 seconds. That's like in, in fucking gunfights and Borderlands 3, that 30 seconds starts. is... Watch it it feels mouth, closer son. to 30 this minutes. Because how you much you do protect. in a freaking hey, single second part of my history, that's fine by me. in a yeah, combat situation. You I him, can't nice next time you see him swap. I'm sure it's annoying, be whatever. LZ looks clear. I'm bringing us down. So, uh... What the hell was the other thing that went along with it? Stay close, Jenkins. Oh no, that was the only three. You were able to Mendoza, use either or any two of them. So you could use the drone and the clone at the same time, or you could use the drone and the shield, or you could use the shield and clone at the same time. Okay, let's That's why. Move. And each of them has their own separate cooldown, but the cooldowns are still too long. So, use the drone so you can actually get a little bit extra damage done, then use the shield to protect yourself a bit. Weird, right? Or you can use the clone, but the clone d isn't exactly like Zero's. So, when you use the, the clone in Borderlands 2 as Zero, it, it makes enemies attack that clone, the hologram thing, whatever. But it also have, makes Sergeant? you turn invisible, so you can actually run away and not get attacked. The problem is enemies won't always be attracted to that clone in Borderlands 3, so... You activate it, and then boom, it's like, oh, well, you're still getting attacked by some of these enemies, so you're still kind of fucked. Right. Well, let's so I just needed some open. adjustments. So if the clone not, turned you invisible, it looks like these covenant work pretty hard to lock it down. Or just, just whatever, it, you know. just some adjustments, and it would have drastically improved Zane. Instead, he's a useless pile of shit. Um. Then I went on to try out Siren. Siren also kind of sucks because it's like, oh, here's this a area of effects AOE. Attack you can do for a large amount of damage, yay! Actually stronger than the line attack, if I remember right. The problem is you have to actually be up close to the enemy, and that's if they don't this. manage to dodge it or kick your ass oh, you before you actually get close enough to use it. Especially in Mayhem What's mode. On, I'm not at a point where I'm using Mayhem mode on uh, the Siren yet. Uh, I think I'm not even level 20. I think I'm only like level 15 on the Siren so far, and I only went to like maybe level 7 with Zane. Uh, I ended up leaving a Pandora around level 11 because of uh, doing everything in the area and filling out the maps. So, um, the Siren attacks, if you use the, uh, the AOE attack, it's decent, it's kind of strong. It actually hurts enemies quite a bit. You're gonna see diminishing returns on that throughout the game, probably. I'll, I don't know, I'll check in. Uh, the line attack is useful, it can hit multiple enemies at once. Um, it, it's kinda nice, but the, the phase grab thing, kinda like a phase lock attack is really fucking useless, at least at the start. I don't know, I'm gonna have to wait until later and see if maybe it's a little more helpful after 
it can grab and kind of bash the ground in places. And it also can't be used like phase lock, really. So you can't grab a vehicle with it like you can with phase lock. Although with phase lock, if you tried grabbing a vehicle, it didn't actually grab the vehicle. It instead did a mass amount of damage to the vehicle. And it says, oh, if, if the thing's too big to grab with this phase grab or grip or whatever the fuck they call it ability, then it'll be um, something that just does damage. And the damage caused is way less than the line attack and the area attack. You would think it'd be more because it's a one, uh, one, one person attack. One use. It's not some area attack. It's not some line attack. Both of which deal like nearly four times the damage and can hit multiple enemies for that same amount of that four times multiplier. So, uh, not only that, but if you try using that phase lock grab type of shit, whatever, on a vehicle, it just doesn't work. It doesn't do damage, it doesn't do shit. It's just, just like, whatever. Like, that's really it. It just, it's useless. It doesn't do a damn thing. So, I'll see if that changes later, because the uh, area attack that will happen where it bashes the ground repeatedly. I don't know how that will work. I just gotta, I'm gonna look around. But so far, Siren, even though, like, all the, the information you have to get from the game uh, before actually playing, it's like, oh yeah, this is actually pretty damn cool. Games, the Siren looking pretty damn powerful. But no, sucks. So far. Still early, so it's too soon to tell. But so far, yeah. The order of best to worst characters in that is Moses best, Flack is second, Siren is third, and Zane is last. So we'll see what happens. And the Siren's cooldown skill is also too damn long. I think the shortest one is 16 second cooldown if I remember right, the longest one is 30 something, uh, probably 36. But even then, I think the 16 second cooldown is the, um, the phase grip, grab, lock, shit, whatever the fuck it's called. Or basically phase locks an enemy. I think that's the one with the 16 second cooldown. And the others are longer. I think one of them is a 20 something second and, uh, the, the longest one is a 36 second. So those are all pretty damn annoyingly useless. Um, I'm gonna make sure I don't get cornered here. Oh, they're in there. Okay, let's saw gunfire. do. I hit a checkpoint, but it was a weird coincidental timing. I think it was just because it was like, oh, okay, all this shit in this room is dead, so here's a checkpoint for you. Or something. Or it opened this door. I'm not sure. I don't know if this door is open or not. I'm not going down there. I'm just going to run. Oh, man. This is broken. It won't open. I have to go down there. Oh, there's a door over there. Never mind. I'll go in that door. Try and avoid them. They don't see me. They're too retarded. That's awesome. So, yeah. Kind of really damn disappointed with Borderlands 3. I remember them pointing out the graphics and be like, Oh, yeah, this is so awesome. Look at this little shadow effect you can get on the opposite side of this tarp or whatever, this cloth. Material, yeah, we're forcing a bug that sometimes happens in games with shadows going to the other side of an object. Like, deliberately forcing it so it's no longer a bug, and it's like nowhere in the game is that even present. It's like, yeah, I'm not really impressed with this graphics. Although the graphics of the game did end up being better than I was expecting, the lighting of it is actually pretty damn nice. 
Uh, it's the uh, rest of the game that kind of sucks. I'll let them kill each other. Oh, don't come after me, you fucker. There was a guy that just ran around. They're all enemies. Why don't you come after me first? I don't have a brain. At least not a really intelligent one. Like a living fucking brained fungus type thing, dumbass. Oh, shit. A brainy, intelligent fungus. Even though you're still kind of retarded as a fungus. Whatever. Parasite top thing. Kind of looks like a fungus. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I was hoping the gameplay would be good. But the weapon selection sucks ass. Which means the combat is nowhere near as good as it could be. The only reason people seem to be thinking it's better is because, oh, it doesn't use Phys X, so instead there's just a shit ton of shit going on on screen. Because they're, instead of relying on Phys X, they're uh, uh, just throwing a hell of a lot of particles and uh, explosions and other fucking 2D images and shit in your face. Just fucking blinding you in the combat. Pretty much seems like that's the only reason why people think the combat is better, but it's really not. You can get the same chaos with Phys X on Borderlands 2, but with a far better selection of weapons. Like, far fucking better. Like, even the, the weapon you can get from Moxie, you can still get a weapon from Moxie in Borderlands 3, just like you could in Borderlands 2 by tipping her. The problem with that one is, unlike in Borderlands 2, where it was actually half decent, not great, but something that was usable and something I would suggest using if you were going through the game and you were about to get to rolling and you needed to go through the, uh, the robots and shit, and you need a corrosion weapon, it was something I was suggesting, like, oh yeah, go ahead and just tip her, get that gun, it's a decent corrosion weapon. But in Borderlands 3, it's absolute shit. Like, it, it's just, it's not worth doing. Uh, where do I go now? So, um, yeah. And it's not even the same weapon as Borderlands 2. Uh, I do like the nuclear weapons in Borderlands 3. It's kind of awesome. It's like Torg's just like, yeah, you know what's even better than just regular explosions? A fucking nukes, bitch. Shit's my element now. That was actually a good change. I do like the nukes because explosive weapons are now very fucking useful. And in a way, they can sort of be overpowered. They're so damn good. Shit. I don't know if that's enough time to jump. Jump. Oh, <laughs> that was nice. I wasn't expecting it to disappear on me when I jumped. I just fucking did because why not? Oh shit. As long as this invisibility lasts, I can avoid a little bit of uh, uh, fighting. Save some ammo. I don't know where I have to go in here. Oh, damn, I think I gotta find a way to unlock that. So maybe this control panel? Ah, oh, shit. That doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. And they just broke the glass I was standing on. Is that dead? I think it's dead. Better be dead. Stuck that bitch. I think I killed something down there. I hope I did. Oh damn, that's a huge difference. They actually look like fucking zombies in this one. I keep forgetting this little thing exists. That's why I keep not switching to it. The cereal looks really good in original. Like, I don't know, something about it looks... Kinda nice. 
Even though it's very little detail. Like, not much going on with it. Very plain. It kind of looks like shit, but it, somehow that, that shitty appearance it has works well for it. In the context of, oh, this is an alien location. This one has a lot more detail, I, but something about it, I don't, I don't really care much for it. I don't know why. The, like, the lighting is weird. I think that's the main problem, actually, is the lighting is weird. The, the design on everything is a little bit weird. I think I have to go down. Yeah, there's a door down here, so I did have to go down. Running around in circles like a dumbass the whole fucking time. Didn't you? Oh, damn it. Didn't even need to. Do, 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 do. You can ignore me and run your ass away. I'm just gonna jump and go through here because I think this is where I gotta go, but I'm not sure. Fucker. Fucker. Don't block my path. Oh, damn it. That's a dead end. Reload. Fucker. That's a big fucking difference. Oh, damn. Uh, apparently, Halo 5 will also be coming to computer, too, so that's going to be friggin' nice. Um, I'm hoping it's a decent game. I'm hoping it's programmed well, and I'm hoping its graphics improve, because its graphics, I wasn't really impressed with the way it looked. It kind of looks a little bit too plasticky, which sort of sucks, but overall it looked fine to me. Like, it kind of looked nice. Kind of not at the same time. Just that plastic effect is why it doesn't really look all that good. Did I just go backwards? Kind of lost. I don't have a map. Kind of annoying this, this game doesn't have an auto map of some sort. The original Doom has an auto map. Auto map as in like it, it'll create the map as you go. And you're going to overlay it and not get lost. It would be kind of neat if this game had that. Instead, it's just got this fucking military. Ooh, here's radar, bitch! Yeah! Tell where enemies are! Yeah! Sort of! Okay. Ah, stop shooting at me, you fucker. I can't get up there. Um... Oh, hey, there's a door here. Maybe I can go through here. Is this the right way? No, I was apparently already in here, unless this thing's faking it. Because it's kind of got movement. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I went through this way. So, I think I uh, just went backwards. So. Oh, this just goes in a circle. It's a dead end. There's a door there, and there's a door there, and that one's locked. Let me check this door. Would you stop chasing me? Jackass. I do look that they actually have the armor there. It's more visible as armor. So their, their design is uh, either like the changes, like parts of the changes, or you hate it. I kind of like parts of the changes. I don't really like it. I like all of it. I don't like all of it. But I like parts of the changes. Some of it. Not all. Kind of like some of the original. So that's kind of annoying. So there's nothing to do in this area. So let me go back. Into this room and check the opposite side. Because there's only one other door and it's locked. Other than this one over here that's broken open. So it's gotta be this way, I gotta go. Oh wait. Oh shit, that's alive. I was gonna check his spine. Come on. That's a trap! Can I still check your spine? No, I can't check your spine. What a jackass. Yeah, I like that. 
Like, you can actually see a lot of detail despite it being that old. This one you can't really see as much. Although you can actually see sort of more, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to see the detail because of that shitty shadows. And it's not really all that great texture quality and all that anyways, but whatever. Various still have a bit of a problem with the way they look. Like, oh, it's still, uh, still all looks the same. Pretty sure I'll go this way. Ignore them. Oh man. Okay. I jumped off a platform. <gasps> I don't get lost. So, where else is there? Is this just an empty ass room? There's nowhere to go. I got a grenade. Funny how I'll do that. Stop reloading at the same damn time. I think I need to reload, and the fucking thing almost plays out at the same moment. I press that third in key. Door under there? No. There's not a door under there. I hate shields, damn it. This fucker is shooting at me from above. Death from above, motherfucker! I gotta somehow get up and I can't. Shit, where did he come from? And the guy's up there shooting at me and kind of being a jackass. So I kind of need to. Ah, oh, damn, this thing's almost ammo. And more ammo. Swapping pistol. Moving, trick. I'm my damn DPI is that high, so I can move quick. With little movement in my wrist, but then that makes it so or if my wrist and arm actually. Cause this makes it so I can just use my wrist. If I swap down then I sometimes have to use my entire arm. Cause that movement there is the same as that movement there. <laughs> A huge difference in sensitivity. What is this thing, anyways? This is like nothing? Yeah, it's nothing. Ain't a difference. That kind of shows where you're supposed to go. I like that. Yeah, the original's better in terms of some alien things there. Like, the whole alien feel is a hell of a lot better in the original than it is in this. This feels a little too human, militarized type shit. This feels a lot more alien. There's a fucking alien marks on the wall. There's just this weird looking metal on the ground and just fucking the walls are everywhere. If it even is metal, it's kind of reflective like a metal. Um... That sort of tells you like, yeah, you gotta get up here. I do that part there looks a little more alien than human, but at the same time, the overall look and feel is better in the original in this area. And I keep I keep saying that on every damn stream of this game. Looks like I have to go back. I just it it looks so much better in the original. Like, the remake looks okay, but it, it's just like, the art direction just forgot what it was trying to aim for. Almost like they were actually trying to prove themselves in the original, in their remake. It's like, yeah, fuck it. We don't need to prove shit. We're Halo, bitch. You're gonna play -o. Oh, there. I can get up. Something busted. Let me get up, fucker. Got stuck on it, sort of. Damn it. Uh, let me swap for the shotgun. Reload the shotgun. Alright. Can I get up? Oh, come on. I gotta be able to jump up there. Haha, <laughs> it's not. Oh, right there. Nice to be able to crouch jump. Can't crouch jump in Borderlands 3. Also, for some reason, the controls in Borderlands 3, uh, for some items where you have to pick up them individually because they don't get automatically attracted to you, you can't hold down the button or key to pick 
up the item in order to pick up everything within a certain area of the item, like you can in the first Borderlands, Borderlands 2, and in pre-sequel. I have no fucking clue why they removed that function, because there are some areas, some little quests, where it's kind of helpful to be able to do that, or it would be helpful to do that if you were actually capable of doing that. Okay, this is the alien wall. Oh, hey, ammo for that gun, finally. Not sure if they're all actually dead. Yeah, that's that's a improvement right there. That one's better. Cause actually, ah, oh, disappeared. I was gonna say it actually shows it's a it's a skull. I think those will destroy themselves on my shield, right? Yeah, they destroy themselves on my shield. They do damage if my shield's down. And I don't think they actually do reduce their damage. So you gotta be kind of careful around them. But they're mostly uh, there to make you waste your fucking ammo. Even though that's exactly what I've been doing, but whatever. They were annoying. It'd be nice if those would stop moving. Oh, I guess they did that on the original too, huh? Interesting. Really wish the anti-alial thing was better. What's the head rotated so much more on the remake? Do I have any Mountain Dew left? Damn it. It's like a drop of Mountain Dew left in this. I just want the taste of Mountain Dew. I only have one more bottle in the fridge. I got another month of more food stamps than usual. Which is why I actually have some Mountain Dew. Uh, Governor of Oregon has actually been doing a decent job with pandemic stuff. So for the last, uh, what's that been now? I think four months? Uh... People on food stamps have been getting more than normal, which has been really nice because my food stamps have actually been reduced down to 98 a month, even though they were already recently reduced to 101 a month because they're retarded and don't fucking account for utility costs. So I, I, I would have more than enough if I had 150 a month in food stamps because I realize, oh, hey, I'm only using about 140 or 135 or something around that range in food stamps every month. That's about all I need. So right now, since I got so much more, I was getting over 200. Uh, this month, I ended up with just under 200, if I remember. I think it was 194, maybe? I don't remember. Something like that. Um, so, I have just a, a lot of rice, mushroom soup, some chili, and a hell of a lot of noodles, just all stockpiled, so I didn't get penalized for not using all food stamps, because the system is a little bit weird, you can sometimes get penalized and have a permanent reduction in your food stamps if you don't use it all, although it's usually like, oh, here's a pattern of use and whatever, so it's kind of fucked up. So I was just wasting some money. And that's also why I got some pop. I also have some 7-Up cans in the fridge. Just because I saw it there, I was like, yeah, I haven't had 7-Up in years. Let's go ahead and have some fucking 7-Up. Sounded kind of good. CRMS tastes better, even though they're effectively the same. A uh, small difference in taste between Sierra Mist, 7-Up, and Sprite. Uh, 7 Up and Sprite taste almost identical. Sierra Mist has a small difference that actually makes it better. So, if I saw Sierra Mist, I probably would have bought Sierra Mist instead. I didn't see Sierra Mist, but I was specifically looking for it. Just walked by, I was like, eh, that sounds good. I'll get it. I'm not sure Sierra Mist works well with if you feel like you're gonna throw off or something from being sick. For some reason, 7 Up and Sprite, that actually helps. Which is odd, even though 
can find information that's like, oh, this is actually a myth, it doesn't do anything, but at the same time, like, I personally experienced it, and I grew up uh, with that idea in mind as well, and actually went through it and was like, yeah, it actually does help, like, the throwing up, like, every 30 minutes or an hour or something, because you're so damn sick at some point, and especially my younger brother, he got sick like that every once in a while, um, it's like, oh, you're throwing up for 30 minutes or an hour or something. And it's, oh, okay, I'll get you some 7-Up or some Sprite or some shit. Like, you start drinking it, and boom, all of a sudden you're not throwing up anymore. And it's not just because you were drinking stuff, because drinking water and other stuff at the same time. And whatever. Still, it seems to work. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. I'm not sure Sierra Mist would work, though. Yeah, I can't see your legs in this. What does this look like? I keep doing that. For some reason, I, I meant to go straight, and I accidentally had a held down. So I, I stopped and was like, oh, whoops. A little too heavy on that finger. All right, what the fuck just happened? Greetings. I am the oh, hey. This is a cutscene. It is playing in the original. Fucking cartographer. Someone has released the flood. Okay, so since you can play the cutscenes in original or remake, they were really fucking retarded at making it so you can't swap back and forth between them during the cutscene. Because I would like to be able to do that instead of having to go through it two times in order to get footage and find the footage up to repair, but I'm not doing that shit. So instead, it's all like, yeah, well, here's this here thing. It can just play in one or the other instead of switching during. I don't know if there's some console command that'll enable it or why. I should I should probably look that up at some point. God damn! Didn't realize that was after two in the morning. What I've been playing for what? Oh wow! It's already been almost an hour. We must collect the index before we can adjust this again. See if that helps. That didn't help much. It's just it's pointed a little too high. And it's just tiny incremental changes on the thing. Whatever, it cuts off a little part of my head. Who gives a fuck? No one wants to see that little part of my head anyways. It's just... Damn it. This is bugging the shit out of me that I can't get it right. I want it to be just like a pixel above my head or something. That's pretty close. Just... Just... Just above my head is where... Or how I want it. This switch means that, yeah. I hate that shit. It's like, oh, you got a fucking shotgun you want to use instead of this pistol? Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Here's the fucking pistol. Oh, yeah, you don't have to waste your ammo on them. They can trip and fall. Oh, yeah. I was in original. Forgot about that. Let's just kill these fuckers. Let them suicide on my armor, shielding, stuff, whatever. I remember them doing a lot more damage in the original, though, which is kind of odd. Why well, in this area? It's really fucking dark. Even in the remake, although it's a lot brighter in the remake. Oh, that one's actually a shooter. Jerk hole. Yeah, I gotta reload. I didn't realize my shield was down. I would have swapped guns if I knew that. I wasn't paying attention because it's up in the top right fucking corner instead of down in the bottom center. Like an intelligent game would be. I think he, uh, Reach had it in the bottom center. I don't remember. I don't remember if any of them do, actually. Stop shooting! Be dead! Where am I getting shot at? Oops. I got cornered. I wanna shoot him. I shot him. Stupid cartographer. 
cryptographer's evil. To the B. Because why the fuck not? Got my shotgun back. So I can one shot and kill those motherfuckers. Shotgun's more helpful here than the damn pistol is. Hit multiple of those motherfuckers with one shot. Oh shit, that's what all the explosions are going on for. The motherfuckers are detonating them. Stop shooting me. Oh shit, I'm cornered again. Need more ammo for this gun. Give me some ammo for the shotgun, please. There. Wait, no, that. Wait, was that? Yeah, it was. Okay, I got a checkpoint. Checkpoint! I can't really hear the cartographer, but I think he's doing his singing thing. I remember the cartographer does some weird humming sing type shit. Humming sing. Damn. It's my last load of shotgun shells, eh? There's a thing there in the center, but there's death down bit whoops. Down below. It's apparently um a remaster of Oh uh, the Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning releasing at some point. I keep forgetting to ask if it, if the remaster is free to people who own the original because that game is underrated and it's actually really damn good if you have not played it if you played the original I mean uh, I suggest to, yeah, I suggest to play it although with the caveat there it's practically unplayable unless you use widescreen fixer because there's no field of view control and it's way too goddamn close to your character when not in combat kind of sucks ass like that. I also suggest you don't do any of the character training throughout that game until you find every skill book and all that shit. Uh, actually, no, not that. Uh, you do the level, the lowest level training first, then wait until you're at a higher level so you can get the, the training skills on it. Kind of pain in the ass if you want max stuff. Uh, stealth on it is essentially useless for practically everything except for like one quest. And even then, it's just a matter of don't be steam type of shit. Whatever. Not really a big deal. But the game is actually really good. It's got great combat. I think it released around the same time as Skyrim did. But at the same time, it, it's actually kind of better than Skyrim in a way. It looks a hell of a lot better, even though fucking I remember reviewers of the time saying the graphics of it suck. But the graphics of it don't actually suck. The graphics are actually really pretty and colorful. Not the highest resolution textures and stuff, of course, but it it actually looks really damn nice. I'm curious to see what they change and improve in the remaster, because the pictures of it, at least, uh, didn't look so great. But whatever. If they add field of view control, then I won't have to use widescreen fixer. Because widescreen fixer forces a uh, field of view change on that game, and it's very helpful. You, you just enable it with a hotkey. You have to have widescreen fixer open when you do that. It's uh, it's kind of nice. It's the only game I use that on, even though it, it has support for multiple games. And you can set the individual hotkey for individual games too. So very useful little simple free program. Just like the, uh, if you can find a version of it that's not a fucking virus, um, like I did, I managed to find, I don't remember where I got it from, what site, uh, I think it's GZ Doom for Doom Ultimate, or Ultimate Doom I mean, not Doom Ultimate, Ultimate Doom, so Ultimate Doom is on Steam, it's the original Doom series, uh, so I think it's got three Doom games on it? And those three Doom games have really shitty controls. 
Because it was for DOS. It was before a mouse was popular and actually used. Because it was before Windows. Uh, mouse was made popular, or actually invented originally, if I remember right, by um, Mac. So Apple invented the mouse. And then Microsoft, for Windows, adopted all of that. Because it was just a superior means of control. Because at the time, Apple released Mac. Uh, Windows or Microsoft only had MS DOS. Then MS DOS was then coupled with uh, Windows. Eventually, MS DOS was removed. I think that was actually removed when. XP released? I don't remember if it was XP or if it was Vista. I'm pretty sure uh, DOS was removed as a requirement on XP. Uh, but before XP, MS-DOS was like a secondary operating system that was required on Windows 98. Uh, Windows 95, Windows 2000, all that shit. Every Windows version pretty much. It was just Windows was added on top. All the functions, all the commands, everything ran through MS DOS uh, in order to get Windows working. Until Windows program was all changed and MS DOS was just eliminated. Uh, so, also on those, like 98 and all that, you could exit to DOS and run certain DOS games. Uh, so, not all the games you had, like, there wasn't a whole lot of compatibility or anything back then. All that is just like, yeah, um, hmm. Gotta exit DOS and enter this command line in DOS in order to, uh... It's kind of nice how they added arrows there to guide you. That's neat. It's not in the original. Uh... X DOS in order to enter the command line to load up a game or whatever program it was that required DOS instead of Windows in order to run. Of course, now, since there are still those games that require DOS in order to run, uh, you, you can use DOSBox, which is actually what uh, Ultimate Doom runs with in order to work. Uh, the GZ Doom, uh, I think it still uses DOSBox. But it changes stuff to use OpenGL. And it allows for higher resolutions, a hell of a lot more graphics controls, and actual control controls. Because the controls of it suck ass. Because it used keyboard only for aiming, shooting, all that shit. Which sucks. Stop getting some blokes and getting me, you fucker. Fuckers are full of sponges. Stop being alive. Oh crap, that fucker there. Oh, that was a weird glitch. You know, my goddamn voice fucks up like that though. God damn it, pissing me off. Oh hey, Ovar shield. Neat. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to sticky. But, uh... If you use GZ Doom, then surprisingly, the original Doom holds up really goddamn well with modern games. Like, it is amazing. It, it's got a map. Now, that map is in the original as well. It's not just GZ Doom that adds that map functionality. It's an auto map type thing. It's actually a part of the game. That also marks where secrets are when you find the secrets. Like it says, oh hey, here's this little blue area instead of being green. Green is regular area you already saw on screen. Discovered. Blue area is a secret area you discovered on screen. Then... The gray area is if you find a little computer terminal that reveals the entire map and the gray is like, oh, here's undiscovered. You haven't actually seen on screen, but it's, it's there for you. Fuck, dude. Too much of these fuckers. Many, not too much. Kaboom, bitch. Kaboom. 
shotgun is a lifesaver. Okay, let's kill all these first, just because they're kind of in the way. And they keep coming out of nowhere. And if there's too many of them, you're fucked. Oh shit, like that. Good thing is, if they're grouped up, you can make them all explode. But they, they kind of whittle down your shields. You gotta make sure you kill them. <sighs> so you don't get swarmed like I was getting swarmed. Problem is, I keep trying to run through this place as fast as I can. Because I don't like the flood. The flood! The flood! The flood is stupid, man! Boom, bitch! Y'all bitches dead. Oh, you're finally fucking attacking, thank you. And you're missing, so never mind, fuck you. Dumb shits. At least you're working as a distraction, I suppose. You're as useless as Zane. And Zane's turret. From Borderlands 3. Zane's, or not turret, his, uh, his drone. It's actually kind of sad how pre-sequel got some stuff better than Borderlands 3. That's how bad Borderlands 3 is. Because everyone likes to shit on pre-sequel, but pre-sequel is a better inventory management system than every one of the games. Because you don't have to fucking favorite stuff. You don't, or, um, like, you don't have to junk items, I mean. And pre-sequel, you just... You, you lock it. That's it. If you want to keep it, it's, it's locking it so you can't accidentally sell it. Uh, you don't have to junk it. If, if it's not locked, you you just go in and quick junk, or uh, quick sell everything else that's not locked. Easy. No need to junk. Everything is just treated as junk unless you lock it. Which is perfect. Like, why the fuck would you want something to be regular, junk, and uh, favorite? Like, this redundant. Like, what the fuck? If you want to keep it for something, just lock it. Boom. Done. Easy. <laughs> Fastest inventory management in the game. Then, um... Let me grab a health kit. Uh, Wilhelm in pre-sequel is uh, probably the best commando style in all the games because Roland, Roland was garbage. Like holy shit, he was fucking useless. Um, Zane is garbage. Axed in. Just a slightly better version of Roland. Also effectively garbage. To be fair, Zane is technically, I, I don't know, maybe equal to Axton in terms of his ability, but Axton also sort of sucked. And at the same time, I, I don't remember if Axton's skill lasted long or not. But uh, Wilhelm was just superior in practically every way. Just because the way their skill worked. Finally open. I gotta let my shield heal. I'm almost dead. And fuckers keep coming at me with needlers, which are... And just a shitload of them jumping at me. The needlers are taking down my health a little too easily. I gotta go get another health kit. There should be one more. Unless it bugged and was like, fuck you, she kicked them both at once, or her. Oh, good, there it is there. Wrong way, Sean. Kind of makes you wonder why that's a road. Like, what the fuck, man? That's way too human. I, I like that version better. Not this road here. It looks like someone's having fucking tiny cars driving on that goddamn thing into a goddamn dead end. Like, oh, what the fuck, man? What's the point? But this, this looks better, because it's like, well, what's this for? That's odd. This is like, yep, yeah, this is human. This is also, I mean, it's helpful for a gameplay standpoint, but at the same time, it being there is kind of retarded. Um, but at the same time, I don't know, I kind of like it. It looks alien enough. It doesn't get in the way, it doesn't detract from anything. Uh, some of this area, most of this area, actually, looks better in the remake. 
Uh, like that looks better. It's all moving. It looks odd. Kind of makes you wonder what the fuck it's about. Kind of looks a little more alien than just that. Looks a little more... Just makes you want to look a little bit more at it. This area kind of looks a little bit too plain. It's a little bit too dark. This area is more lit up. It makes it easier to see. Although, this area was created with CRT in mind. CRT handled darkness and stuff a lot differently. So, who knows? Maybe, I, I just, I don't remember. It's been too damn long since I used a CRT, so it probably looks better on CRT. Oh, fucking fuckity fuck a fuck. That was bullshit. Where am I? Oh, right before I died. Nice. There. Aw, oh, damn, well, it's close enough to grenade. Yeah, just burn them bitches to death. Wait, they're just on fire when they're not on fire. That's dumb. Yeah, do it for me. I can reload. Kill those two. Ah, oh, fucker's not dead. Kill them. Apparently, melee don't work on them. And I gotta be careful because those can apparently attack me, too. Like they're going to. Eventually, when I have to fucking destroy them and kill the cartographer. Um -de -dum -de -de. If I could hear my computer -y. I kinda like the way the cartographer speaks, that's why I wanna hear him. But I don't wanna turn up my computer. Because I got the air conditioner on, it's too much background noise. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> Boom! Throw, bitch! Oh, damn! Did I... No, I missed. I thought I stuck one. What the shit? One of the drones just died. Oh, shit! Most of the drones died! Fuck! Change that. All of the drones died. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Um, that's good to know. Where'd that stupid rocket launcher go that fucker is shooting me with? Or shooting them with. That's weird. It disappeared. I guess they didn't really want you to pick it up. I probably wouldn't have anyways. Wouldn't have done me any good. Shotguns being more helpful. Is this reloaded? Yeah, it's cool. I guess the door. I gotta wait on that. Oh, it's a monitor, not cartographer. Dumbass me. The monitor. I don't remember what I was thinking of the cartographer before then. What, what the fuck was the cartographer? I know there's a cartographer thingy in this here game. Just don't remember what the fuck it was. Die, bitch. Yay, it's open. Ain't you a lucky motherfucker who gets to fucking fly through this guy? Kaboom. I don't want to play a Zelda game. I want fucking Link, uh, uh, Link's Awakening. I almost said Link's to the, Link to the Past. I want Link's Awakening remake, damn it, but I don't want to fucking Switch, and apparently I think all the Switches are still overpriced. If there's a remake, or if a, there's a Switch remake that's actually meant as a home console and it's more powerful, I'm gonna end up getting it for the sake of the um, Link's Awakening and a few other games. Maybe. Unless they're nice and they bring it to the computer then, uh, on Steam. Um, then I'll get it on Steam because uh, you know, I would get a hell of a lot of Nintendo games if it was on Steam. But console, I really don't want a fucking console. Like how many goddamn consoles are needed when you should just do what Microsoft is now doing. And saying, you know what, we have these consoles, sure, that computer, what matters, what gets us the real profit is the games, so let's bring it to computer. Because people are already fucking pirating shit anyways, even if it's only console exclusive. So what the fuck is the point of not bringing it to console, or uh, bringing it to computer? Like, why bother ignoring them, those sales? 
there are people who don't buy consoles. I have not bought a console since the, well, I guess if you count the SNES Classic, uh, since the Wii U I have in here, I haven't bought a single console. That was years ago. Like, yeah, that was three or four years, I think. Maybe four years now? It's been a while since I bought it. And, uh, longevity, 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 just the lifespan of games is a hell of a lot longer if it's available on computer because those consoles, I'm talking five years now per console cycle, I think it's been. Uh, it was actually an anomaly for Xbox 360 and PS3 to be a 10 year or so cycle. That's kind of a long one. But uh, for consoles that are only like five year cycles or less, that's essentially the lifespan of the game. Uh, unless you have a working console for that whole length of time. But on computer, the games last pretty much indefinitely. As long as the service or the disc or the thumb drive or whatever the fuck you use to install it with, SD card, whatever. I don't think any computer games are actually on SD card, but whatever. Uh, any, whatever you, you're installing it with exists. That, that's, that's the length, the lifespan of the game. And uh, that's actually very goddamn helpful. That's very good for gaming in general. Because then awesome games can last a long damn time. Hell, the original Halo, I have that on disc. If I wanted to, I could get my portable DVD player, hook it up to this computer, install the damn thing, and run it. I'm sure it still works in Windows 10. I'm sure I could figure out a way to make it work on Windows 10. It was working on Windows 7 on my last computer. Oh, fuck. Boom. So it is very possible to play old-ass games. And games aren't just for the year or so, the months or whatever in which they are out. They last fucking forever. That's the way they should. That's one of the biggest arguments for putting Nintendo games, actually, Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft games, all on computer. Increase the lifespan. The next argument is like, there's going to be people who never buy consoles, but they will have a computer. And if the game's on computer, then they'll fucking buy it on computer. I really don't want another console. I don't want a Switch, even if there's a more powerful version. That's just a home console instead of some portable fucking bullshit tablet released. I still don't want to switch. Just because it's another goddamn console, and I just don't want a console. They also have more freedom for control selection on computer, because you can use pretty much any controller you can connect to your computer. It doesn't have to be Sony or Microsoft specific. If you really have to, you can use a program called Joy to Key, which will map a keyboard and mouse onto a controller. So you can literally use a Nintendo controller on your computer. You can use any goddamn Sony, Xbox, Nintendo third-party controller on computer. It's awesome. And my gut is starting to hurt. I have to take a pill. I should have taken this before I started streaming. I couldn't, uh, I forgot about it. Time is 2.29. Basically 2.30. So next one, it'll be at 6.30. I can only take those once every four hours. And if I'm having a real... What the fuck? How long has that been happening? Oh, my upload stable. Uh, let me check something here. I didn't realize the stream cut out. I don't know if it was just my media computer or what. Uh, okay, it, it it was just my media computer viewing shit. For some reason cut out. That was odd. I don't know what the fuck was going on with that. 
Maybe Twitch doesn't like the fact that I'm actually maxing out their six megabit limit or something. Seems to be doing fine. There's there's not a video split, so it's the single stream. There'd be a video split if the stream cut out without me noticing. I saw red dots, but now they're gone. Oh, my gut's just starting to hurt now. God damn it. Go up before the fucker walks. I don't know if those big ones can walk on walls and shaw oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Okay, they're either beneath or above. Okay, they're beneath. God, maybe I'm safe. The other species currently on the installation is yeah, there's more enemies up there. The they the in their to also, uh, since I mentioned Ultimate Doom, yeah, it's um, it's a lot fucking easier when you can use a, a mouse on a game that was designed to be beaten with just a keyboard. So if you do use GZ Doom on it, uh, expect it to be a little easy, even if you're just playing on easy mode then it's just like wow this is um kind of a walk in the park i also got doom 64 which is a doom game very few people know about and some reason god damn my memory on that holy shit uh because that was a game we had uh, i don't remember if we actually owned it i think we had it rented at some point uh back on nintendo 64 when i was a kid growing up and a friend of mine Came over, spent the night, and we were playing that at some point. And just like me, he remembered it using polygon models for stuff. Kind of like a mix between 2D and 3D. But no, fucking the items, enemies, everything is th uh, 2D images, just like the original Doom. It's just higher resolution textures and all, mm, textures and uh, sprites and all that. Which is kind of crazy. Um, like I seriously, I remembered it being uh, 3D models being used, but no fucking thing. Not 3D models at all. It's 2D. So it's kind of crazy how your fucking memory works like that. But yeah, I um, was not expecting to see that. I was thinking I'd going into Doom 64 and be like, yeah, some 3D models. But no, I went into Doom 64 and I was like, yeah, 3D. Wait, what the fuck? This is 2D. Like, obviously, you're in a 3D environment, all the Doom games are, but, uh, enemies and all that use 2D sprites instead of uh, 3D models. That's, that's the 2D, 3D comparison thing I'm mentioning. It's just weird how your memory works like that with some stuff. Like, goddamn. <sighs> it's crazy. I could jump down. Let's try and wait for all these things to stop spawning, then I'll move forward. Because uh, more will get triggered to spawn if I continue. It's kind of nice that they're trying to go after me instead of those, because that way I can save some of my ammo. Although those seem to be attacking them a little bit. I like how those have lights on them. Oh, they have lights on them in the here too. It was just not bright where the damn is. A lot brighter in this. Like it's got a glow, makes them a lot easier to see. That's a big difference. 
I like that better than that. That's just meh. And I do like the blood spots and the burn marks and stuff in this original hell of a lot better. Because holy goddamn, that's just a fucking war zone. This is like, yeah, whatever, here's, here's a few little burns. No big deal. Like, you can't even really fucking tell. Unless you look at this little area here. But this is like, holy shit, you fucking look around and it's like, god damn, that's insane. There's fucking chaos going on. Kind of makes me wonder if there's a mod you can get for this that darkens and changes some of the textures to make some things a little more apparent or improves on stuff. Maybe change the models to to be better. Oh. Walking forward, all of a sudden I got surrounded and those fucking drones aren't following me. Make sure. Okay, should be safe enough to take these. There we go. Like, if all the Zelda games were on computer too, back to the fucking Nintendo should be on computer. That would be amazing. I would really like to see uh, remaster Majora's Mask, the original, like not the bullshit changes they made for the 3DS crap. The fucking. I hate the changes they made for it on 3DS. That was stupid. If they made it a, a remake of it for a uh, computer, like amazing graphics and all that, that would be fucking incredible. The uh, Majora's Mask was one of those games that could really benefit from that. And the saving stuff, I'm sure people would easily find a way to mod. So, then it would even be more accessible to people, so you could just save and quit whenever you want, just like in Ocarina of Time. What just happened? Motherfucker's behind me, I thought he was on the left. Little prick. What the fuck, that's three? Goddamn fucking zombie ass motherfucking flood filled bitch. I want you with the rocky launcher. By this motherfucking by the son of a bitch. How is that gonna make you propagate yourself? It, oh, wait, no, I guess they can infect dead bodies too, huh? Run out of that little thingy the flood can do. It doesn't have to be living bodies that can infect dead as well. You know what? In a way. Oh, shit. Damn it. Uh huh, bitch. Got you that time. In a way, it's actually probably the Halo games' fault that zombies in games aren't like Walking Dead zombies. They're instead like Left 4 Dead shit. If you really stop and think about it, the zombies in this game, it's zombies with like air quote type thing. <clears throat> They're, um,. They're not really all that brainless. I mean, like, they kind of are, but at the same time, they're using weapons and they're running and stuff. They have different variations of what they can and can't do. I still really want a goddamn zombie game that has just walking dead zombies. Where you can just find hordes of them, you have to run in and avoid them. Some survival type shit. No actually requiring eating and stuff, although some people like that, so put it in an, an option, I guess, where you have to manage your hunger and all that. But go in, find supplies, and stuff. Like the closest to that, the closest to the zombies at least, has been Dying Light, but the closest to 
the type of gameplay has been Seven Days to Die, but Seven Days to Die also has the bullshit nighttime stuff, and it's mostly like, oh, here's a building, and that game runs like ass. Like, it's been improving, but very slowly improving. Their survival as a race was dependent upon it. I am grateful to see that some of them survived to reproduce. Um. Like, I just, I still really want a damn zombie game like that. I don't know why no one looks at a Walking Dead zombies and they're like, yeah, these are the best zombies. Let's put these zombies in a game and show people like, oh, here's the real threat of them. You go in, you may start out kind of freaking out about them. And just a few of them fucking just like in the show that's the whole fucking point it's like oh you start out and it's like oh dude, they're a big deal and all of a sudden it's like oh yeah they're not a big deal except when they're in a horde you you remember yeah these are actually a big fucking problem because that would be that'd be kind of a neat thing to have as a game is just um Walking Dead style zombies. I'm still gonna, I'm gonna continue saying I want that until I get it. Just Walking Dead style zombies in game. Fuck yeah. And I know I want that because that was. God damn it. I had an itch. That was uh, pretty damn similar to the style of the ones in Dying Light, and I liked that a lot. That was awesome the way they did that. It was just all the night ones I didn't really care for. Those those powerful hunter fuckers. And the, the ones that could run and climb. I didn't like those. Um they they seem fine, it's just and the big massive throwing mutated motherfuckers. Or basically giants. Don't really care for those either. But overall, like it works fine in dying light not too over the top like it's not left for dead style crazy but the best ones in that are the ones that are just mindless and slow and easy to deal with it's um they're kind of neat stop spawning so I can stop Fucking stay in here and I can move forward, damn it. Jerk. Okay, they stop spawning. Next. Same damn spot right here, right? I heard something happen. That's a checkpoint though, so I guess I was opening the door. Is there a shield down here, please? No. No shield, no health. Damn. Oh, there's a shield. Right, what's that light from? Where's this light coming from? What the hell? There's nothing that's making it. I think it's a... Is that a bug? That'd be weird if the outside... It shouldn't have a sun loaded in the game in this area. That'd be fucking weird if there was. Like, if they actually loaded the sun in the area and somehow the light from the sun... Star or whatever. I guess you could call it the stars for the sun. Uh, the light from the damn star is all fucking shining into the place. And it's like, oh yeah, huh, here's the fucking light from outside. And it's just bl fucking glitching through the walls and the roof. Because there's no reason for that orange light. That's, that's just, that's weird. That's weird. Wait. What? Did that fucker just trap me? What a fucker. Just in case. Now reload. I heard him with a shotgun right there. grenade there. If I can stay in motion, maybe they won't hit as easily. Jumping seems to help avoid them. 
Oh, thought that was a bigger explosion than I was expecting. Time I hit. Oh, that was pretty good. Oh, hey, they opened it. Good job. You stupid robot ball. That damn thing reminds me of friggin' Borderlands 3. Reese Ball! Um. Okay. Katagawa ball! Why didn't you use the fucking Katagawa ball, Reese Tard? <laughs> Would have been helpful because then you could help and kill shit. Fucking Reese. Move that goddamn moustache of yours. Gets all upset. It's funny. Because he's a dumbass. They still haven't said whether or not uh, the Jacob's Cove incident with the zombies was canon in the series. Like, it's not actually made mention of. Um, there's a, a side quest that mentions gun collection and uh, I think it was the cigar quest from the first game in Borderlands 3. Like, apparently, okay, that one was canonically not done in the first game. It was instead done in the third game by Brick and Roland. Or not Brick and Roland, Brick and Mordecai. And only Brick and Mordecai. Yeah, same as the shock crystals. Unless they just had to collect more of them, whatever, it's weird. But yeah, those, those were... All mentioned. Uh, in the quest where you have to go search for Talon. Wait, it counted a kill that I didn't kill? Are those things adding to my kill count? What the hell? Holy fuck. Why'd they do that? Like, what? There's so many more in this version. Like, you can see where fucking explosions happened. You can see every fucking little dot where those lasers hit. But this one is like, yeah, here's just a few little spots. Like, why not just allow it be just to become a fucking war zone mess like this in this version? Because this looks a hell of a lot better. You can see where shit got fucked up. And that is one a hell of a difference. Taking screenshots. Original. Remake. Because that's fucking crazy. Big goddamn difference. Like, it's not just memory management either, because the the burn marks that are left by the lasers on the remake version, those are also really light. They're, they're barely visible. They're so light compared to the original. Oh, this elevator looks fucking weird. Huh. The days of no one is the tropic filtering over there. Yeah, I'll just wait here with those, the old shit. Whatever. <coughs> Although those can be destroyed. But whatever, I guess I'll... Boom. Whatever. 
I don't know, easily they're destroyed. Grab some health because it was there even though I didn't really need it. I only was missing one bar. Oh, that's a random ass memory. I won't go away, god damn it. Pissing me off. Took a random memory of uh, being at the Boys and Girls Club when I was a kid. It's fucking weird. No, it's going away finally. I'm random. Really random. No reason for it to pop up. What the shit? You missed it, bitch. You missed me, bitch. I missed. I'm the bitch that time, I guess. Come on, pill kicking. I know it takes about an hour before you start working. Son of a bitch, come on. <laughs> Getting tired of this feeling. <laughs> Keeps having spikes of pain. Kind of annoying. What the shit? Kind of annoying. Those are almost dead. How did that survive? That was weird. Oh wow, that was interesting. I wasn't trying to do that. It worked. Happened on Doom as well. It's kinda aim at one in front of me and shot the one behind it at the same time. Kinda neat. I'm using the shotgun on Doom a lot. Shotgun's just kinda helpful on it. Didn't yet find Double Barrel. I don't remember if Double Barrel was even in the original. I think Double Barrel came around in the second Doom, but I'm not sure. That's closed, but it's pointing to go back, and there's a path here, so I guess I have to go here. Pretty sure the the ball guy is gonna go through the, the door. Come to me and die, you stupid little parasites! Come to me and explode without killing me so you can die, you stupid little parasite holder and motherfucker. That was interesting. Da what a big ass pipe. There be more motherfuckers. Jumping out of walls. Gotta reload. Damn it, dodge, fucker. That's also something Borderlands 3 does wrong. Enemies dodge the moment you pull the trigger. Like they, they don't even like even just the moment you start throwing a grenade. They dodge, so you fucking miss a lot. They just there's no realistic um, timing for their movement. Like obviously they should be able to dodge, but it should be like they shouldn't know when you pull the trigger. It should be them dodging after they realize they're getting shot or having a grenade thrown. Like, the grenade should actually either be in flight or landing 
before they dodge it instead of when you pump your bat damn arm back to throw because they seem to dodge before it, it, it's in flight and stop it's freaking retarded it's kind of half-assed in a way and the fucking driving holy shit the AI driving at least on Borderlands 2 where and in the first one for that matter the AI in vehicles would actually try and go after you instead of driving along some bullshit path and shooting you when they happen to drive by you on that bullshit path. But they, um, they don't actually go after you on Borderlands 3. It's a little retarded. It makes kind of the idea of hijacking them is broken because you can't really hijack all of them because they'll drive by in some bullshit thing and as soon as they get close to you they'll use the goddamn booster it's like oh we're here's the booster yeah you can't fucking hijack us and they won't even try and hit you they'll fucking they'll just go around they'll keep their distance as they continue shooting at you and the ones on the mono wheels they can shoot behind themselves as they're driving even though that's not something that's possible for the player to do because the you only aim in the direction you shoot so in a way the AI also cheats like it makes sense for them to be able to shoot behind themselves at you or when in a regular vehicle because then those can hold multiple people and they have multiple people in them when you're getting attacked but at the same damn time a mono wheel is a one passenger vehicle it shouldn't have that ability and it's so goddamn accurate in it too despite that which is kind of bullshit so half-assed whatever said I was gonna try and not complain about Borderlands 3 this time and I just fucking complained about it Wait, what the hell? I thought I bumped into something. I couldn't move. Oh, those things glow. The little ones are easier to see in the fucking remake. Or the original, I mean. Boom! Bitches. Those are easier to see in the original. Because they have this glowing pulse thing, it looks like. Yeah, kind of neat. Yeah, mm. this one's to melee in this game kind of sucks. I'm be a little bit farther away, damn it! I got a grenade. Jackasses. Okay. Oh, that guy's still up there, huh? Now he's dead. Motherfuckers. Too many of you. I know that's the whole point of the flood. Let's just give a shit ton of enemies. But there's just too many. Because it's like, um, they're all actually inhabiting some other alien body. So, um, it's kind of... Bitch? Why would there be that many of them? Like... The, the fucking Covenant and others in this area. Crazy. God damn it. 
What the fuck, man? There is nowhere to fucking hide. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Where am I? Are you shitting me? I have to do that whole fucking thing again. They just won't fucking stop spawning. Some bullshit. At least they're all spawning in that direction, so I guess that kind of helps. Hide right behind this thing, and they're too stupid to shoot around the wall, so they'll kind of shoot at it, sort of, sometimes. And I can do this. Grenade, bitch! Holy fuck, I almost killed myself with that. Fuck it. Camping strategy's working. Sort of. Better not be an infinite number of them that spawn. I don't think there are. That was a lot of them, though. Like a hell of a lot of them. Holy shit. The last one. I don't see any more dots. God damn. Like, just look at them. They're all just fucking piled up. Jeez. I'm sure some of them, yeah, uh, some of that, yeah. some of them probably despawned after they died too. For memory management purposes. Please, Sam, at the end of the flood part. I hate the fucking flood in this game. The energy barrier surrounding the index. Ah. Fucking flood, man! The motherfucking flood! You may now retrieve the index. It's a green thing that looks like a motherfucking key. That just looks like a spiky weapon. Oh, it's a flat tip. It's a failed spiky weapon. Protocol requires that I take possession of the index for transport. Cartographer is being a jackass now. Vulnerable to infection. The index must not fall into the hands of the flood before we reach Heard the not cartographer. Monitor. The, installation. the flood is spreading. We must hurry. Goddamn monitor. Would you look at that the library? I got an achievement! Which means that any organism with sufficient mass and cognitive capability is a potential vector. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Splendid, shall we? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, my usefulness to this particular endeavor has come to an end. Protocol does not allow units with my classification to perform a task as important as the reunification of the index with the core. <sighs> that final step is reserved for you, Reclaimer. Kind of around, uh, that. Kind of wondering what I'm going to do today. I really don't want to play Borderlands 3. I still have a few things to watch, though. Um... 
wasn't supposed to happen. I have six things left to watch. Oh, really? Cortana. I've so, spent the last 12 hours cooped up in here watching you toady about with six things. Thing get set to slit our throats. Hold on now. He's a friend. It's not very long. Oh, I didn't realize. He's your pal. Is he your child? That might be an hour of watching stuff. So maybe Borderlands 3 for an you. hour. Yes. Activate Halo's defenses. Oh, I could play Doom, but I don't know. The, I get this little issue. It, especially this? in Borderlands 3. It's like, oh, you get the map to fill out. Yeah. <laughs> now let's let your OCD go fucking crazy and make you fill out the goddamn map because he can't go and fucking ignore it and continue on because he can find stuff there. How, how dare you? Do what? I have the index. You can just float and sputter. Enough. The flood is spreading. If we activate Halo's defenses, we can wipe them out. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Halo doesn't kill flood. It kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We're all equally edible. The only way to stop the flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. You don't believe me? It'd be nice That's if I could hear it. what she was saying. <laughs> I can't hear shit though. Is it I only know they were arguing and he said no, enough. I that that was about all I could hear. This installation's pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. But once the others follow suit, this galaxy will be quite devoid of life. Or at least any life with sufficient biomass to sustain the flood. But you already knew that. I mean, how could not you? Left out that little detail, did he? We have followed outbreaks. Another Netflix email. They send too many damn emails. I get like two or three fucking Netflix emails every goddamn day. Like I only want one email every few days from them. I don't know why they still send so goddamn many. It makes them seem desperate, which is bad. We must activate the ring. Get us out of here. If you are unwilling to help, I will simply find another. Still, I must have the index. This is a long cutscene. I could skip it, but I don't want to skip it. Be forced to take her from you. That's not going to happen. So be it. Save his head. Dispose of the rest. Man, I'm stuck Look in out. here. Wait, why do I have this fucking weapon? What the hell? Stupid game. Whatever. This weapon seems to work fine on those. I'm gonna hide those. Hiding. The fucking enemies are dumb. There. Helpful things. They're no longer helpful, so they they're enemies to me. We can't let the monitor activate Halo. We have to stop him. We have to destroy Halo. Okay, so I press a button. Of the I'll data, see if I can I press a the button. Best course of action is somewhat risky. An explosion of sufficient size will help destabilize the ring and will cut through a number of primary systems. Wait, is this the end of the we game? Need to trigger a detonation on a large scale. Because if I destroyed scale, the thing, however, a starship's fuck fuck. fusion reactors going critical would do the job. I'm going to search what's left of the Covenant battle net and see if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion because right, I know the last part's got some driving attacked, sequence. We can use them to destroy sequence. Halo. I I'm pretty sure there's more after this. Um. So apparently it's not that. So do I go that way? The door was red, so it doesn't look like. There's some over here. What is that? Some glowy thing. That's nothing. It's an aesthetic thing. Wow, they really didn't update that. That's pathetic. They just gave it a different color. Well, they updated that though. Sort of. No, they didn't. They just didn't line it up. That that's that's just that's dumb. They, they didn't update the hologram at all. You can see it's the exact same fucking texture.
like very small differences in the pixels. It, it just looks like the original is just a little more compressed and that one's not. But it's literally the exact same. Other than that. Like you can, that's, that's fucked. So do I go this way? Or did I have, to, oh yeah, there's this thingy here. Checkpoint done. Oh my. And I know it's been under two hours, but I gotta save and quit. Uh, just because my gut is bugging me so much right now. So anyways, I know it's a bit short of stream. I should be able to finish the game next time. Even if it's a three hour stream, I'll finish it. Um, anyone stop by? If someone did, I know I keep saying that every damn time I stream now. It's like, I don't think anyone stopped by. Woohoo! Uh, if anyone did stop by, thanks for stopping by. Anyone watching on the few, or on YouTube, uh, thanks for watching. And I'll be finishing the game next week. Hopefully. I'm pretty sure nothing else is going to be going on. Uh, I have the... Yeah, because it's on Tuesday. I have the... Um, I forgot what the fuck it's called. Disability Determination Evaluation thing going on on the 4th at 1 p.m. But that is, I think, all I have remaining. Um, I know I have to order a printer. So maybe that'll be here next week sometime. I don't know when. Uh, other than that, yeah, there's nothing else going on next week. So should be all good. And I should be fine and capable of streaming next week. So I should be able to finish the game next week. So other than that, uh, anyone watch? Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.